what's up this is the chime in chicks we are back to review the real housewives of potomac season five episode two so this time it starts off we get to see the taglines for this season giselle killed me talking about she's the most anointed thing walking girl just because you're back with your pastor boot don't make you automatically anointed right because she definitely is not the only one i liked was wendy's she said class is in session. She's going to school her university students and the girls. Yes, girl, we going to see. So we start out with Karen. She's at home with Ray, and we get to see what she was talking about last episode. Ray is definitely not giving the warm and fuzzy vibes. That was interesting when he wouldn't even say, I love you. He wouldn't even let her pour him a drink. <laughs> now, you know me. I get a sense she must have done something really foul. He's always been into her. Man, I think Ray just having a late life crisis. Because he passed midlife crisis, so he late life crisis. He probably got him a little sugar baby. He not feeling sugar mama. You may be on to something. So what are your thoughts on Giselle and Monique be trying to come friends? And throwing a party for Ashley? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't see this friendship lasting at all. I think it's an alliance. The Me and Girl Alliance with Giselle, Ashley, and Monique. And of course, Robin gonna be there because she's gonna be wherever Giselle is. I agree. Monique is a little mean. She seems like she's more of a frenemy of Candace than a friend. She says they made up, but then she takes these little digs about her, like leaving the butter knives off the table and getting so upset about Cherise coming to the event. Did she ever not invite Ashley when Candace and Ashley weren't getting along? And why does she expect Candace to do it? All right now, Miss Lowkey. That was a high-key call-out you just did. All right, so then we head over to Ashley. She's scared to leave the house. So all they can do is show her stuff about being a mama. And that's why we had to sit through her seeing a lactation specialist. Nobody wants to see you get coached on breastfeeding. Anyways, her mom came by, and even she was trying to convince her to get out of the house, girl. Well, you know, I like these. To see them not be a drama queen is very good for my soul. And it makes me feel less guilty for washing this trash. <laughs> I thought it was funny when the lactation specialist told her she needed to make sure she was surrounding herself with positive energy. Well, I'm like, she better get off the show then. Basically. So then we see Wendy and Candace meeting up and they're forming a little brown skin girl alliance. Then she was giving Candace some mom advice. Candace kind of warming up to the idea of uh, becoming a mom. Speaking of mom advice, did you think it was a little shady when she talked about being 40, trying to have kids and only having two eggs? Pretty much. And speaking of older women, seems like the Grand Dom and Wendy may have a little beef coming soon. She basically said that she's always shading her whenever she sees her being all formal and acting like they never met before. I can't stand when people do that, but that doesn't surprise me. That is if she calls her out on it, and she probably will. If not, her and Giselle, because I don't think she'll let Giselle get away with what the rest of them do. Maybe not. I think Giselle might be out of the drama this season. Let everybody else tell her when she's getting her extracurricular in. She a little bit nicer. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so rude these days. Anyways, Juan calls Giselle to meet, and already I'm like, ooh, this is going to be interesting. And interesting it was. Juan is finally ready to make it official. I hope this just isn't so they can stay engaged for a while. You know it is. This is just so she can go ahead and agree to move into the bigger house, because now she got the ring on it, not the tattoo, and just going to buy him a little bit of time. So then we go to my favorite couple because I love me some Chris. He know how to handle Candace when she be like whining and pouty and bratty. Uh, she take a pregnancy test and was kind of upset that it was positive because she's finally coming around to the idea of having so many Chris and Candaces. That's very interesting. I predict either Ashley is going to try to get revenge and give her a hard time while she tries to get pregnant or they're going to get closer. Well, first, apparently, they actually have to start getting it in. They be on different schedules or something? Must be a married people thing. Hmm. Or maybe it's just because... Or maybe it's because it's just a decent time. <laughs> so in the last scene, everybody comes together for a Let's Get Ashley Out of the House party that Giselle and Monique throw. And Candace and Wendy come in last, and already you can feel the tension. Yes, you could immediately. Monique barely spoke to her. 
She let Giselle get in her head already saying Candace was purposely trying to get closer to Sharice, even though Sharice is supposed to be spreading some rumors about Monique. Potster and Giselle is at it again. Indeed, and the energy seems to get even worse when Giselle tries to force them to talk about their issues right at the table. Everybody started backing her up and started to gang up on Candace a little bit. Right. Who forces somebody to apologize? And why would you want an apology that you'd have basically ganged up on somebody to give? And if it was any of them, they wouldn't let somebody at the table force them to do anything. They definitely would not. So the next couple of weeks should be interesting. You can already see Monique trying to take digs and throw shade at Candace because she's salty about this whole Monique thing. And she's telling Candace how she should have spent her money on the honeymoon instead of the anniversary party. Who does that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. I feel like this week was a little bit more boring because it was setting up some drama and tension for the future episodes. So y'all catch us next week for episode three and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Chime in chick signing out. Love and light.